Good morning. I've just arrived at CHS. Um, I'm here for the teacher takeover today. Thank you so much to Monsieur Abbott yesterday for uh, such a fantastic insight uh, into life here at CHS. Uh, so I'm going to wander into school now, um, go and get myself set up for the day and uh, take you through uh, my day today. See you all later. I've just arrived in the staff room. I'm going to check my pigeonhole and I've got the, my two HPQ students, um, full HPQs here. Uh, so going to get those uh, marked at some point. Um, and then we've got the moderation of that next week. Uh, so uh, another little thing to add to the list of tasks today. So I've just settled down at my desk in my office on the geography corridor, uh, just going through my to do list uh, for today, prioritising what needs to be done first. I've got three lessons today, starting off with year 10, uh, then year seven. And then I've got uh, a period when I'm not teaching. So I've got a, a few jobs that I need to run around school to go and do. So I'll take you with me uh, whilst I'm doing those uh, little jobs. Um, and then I am teaching lower sick this afternoon. Um, I'm not teaching period five, um, which uh, I'm incredibly fortunate to not be teaching period five uh, every other Friday. Um, but uh, again, I'll be able to take you around school when I'm getting um, a few of my little jobs done. Um, and uh, I'm just going to set the homework for my year sevens on Google Classroom now. So that's all set up for their lesson period two. Uh, and I also want to show you what I think is the best view uh, in the school, giving me a lovely view there of the sundial and the sick form centre. Um, and I get to keep an eye on what's going on in school as well. I just finished marking 70s is CHS crumbling um, work and uh, they've been looking at weathering and erosion around the school site. I have marked a number of absolutely fantastic pieces of work. Uh, so I'm about to issue a lot of uh, blue cards. Um, so uh, a number of those will be winging their way to 70 very, very soon. Um, and uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic work. Well done, 70. Right off to form time now. Um, I am 11G's form tutor. I've been their form tutor since they started it in year seven. Uh, it was a very short hiatus when I was on the tent to leave um, when they were in year eight. But uh, since then, um, they've been stuck with me. Uh, so we will be uh, losing them to study leave um, in a couple of weeks time. Um, so the countdown to their GCSEs uh, has well and truly started. Um, I am going to miss them uh, considerably. Uh, they've been an absolutely fantastic form. Um, the last five years, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed being their form tutor. Um, so I've got a uh, little uh, challenge for them to have a go at this afternoon. I've been trying to get in some Taskmaster challenges uh, when we can um, in uh, during Friday form times, uh, just to um, give them something a little bit different to do uh, during those form times. Uh, so um, yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be bringing you along to that session as well, so um, you'll get to see what the challenge is then. Right, here I am in 11G's form room. They are, as ever, sat pretty much in the dark. Good morning, everybody. We'll try that one again. Good morning, everybody. There we go. Excellent. Right, time to do the register, take in phones and read the daily bulletin for the day. Uh, so I'm halfway through my year 10's lesson. We've been looking at Mexico City. Um, the problems that Mexico City is experiencing as a result of rapid urbanisation um, and then how those problems can be solved. Um, and at the moment, the class is cutting out a concept map, uh, which I will take you around uh, in a minute when they've all had a chance to start to read the statements um, and start to make some connections uh, and just see how they're getting on. Um, I am here with Dan and uh, Rowan, and they have found a connection for their concept map. Uh, Dan, could you just talk us through the connections that yeah. you've made? Uh, so we've got pumping water from aquifers leads to the ground sinking in sewage pipes crack, uh, which leads to water supplies are contaminated by sewage, which leads to diseases in people in shanty towns. Brilliant. Super. So they're going to pop that onto their A3 sheet draw some arrows connecting it, and then look through the rest of their uh, statements to see if they can find any more connections. Wow. So I'm here now with Anna and with Faye, 
uh, and they found a connection between um, the informal workers uh, who work in Mexico City and um, how this affects how the government is able to improve the city. So they're going to take us through those connections now. Um, recent migrants lack education and training, so they can only find work in the informal sector. Um, government cannot collect tax from the workers in the informal sector. Uh, the government lacks the money to make the improvements needed. Okay, and so these are, what they're looking at is they're looking at how um, Mexico City is struggling to combat uh, the problems of uh, the migration that they have seen uh, into the city. Um, and they're just learning about how all of these problems are really, really hard to overcome. I have got seven Canucks, so I'm going to pop out to go and meet them. And uh, there is Mr. Williams, who is napping my uh, whiteboard pens. Right, here they are, waiting in the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> They're a giggly lot. No, you know, wait, 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 Instagram, everybody. <laughs> right, I'm going to get them. I, I feel like we're short of a few boys. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, we are. Toby's not in. Is this it? Is this the class? We have to go no, 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 <laughs> We've got a few more stragglers turning up. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in and get them settled and then uh, you're, you can join us uh, a little bit later on to see what work they're going to be doing. Um, okay, so 7K are now all here. We've got the boys have joined us as well. Um, they're delighted to learn that it is homework night tonight. So they've got their planners out on their desk ready uh, to write their homework down. Um, and we're going to start off with uh, a little bit of a recap of drainage basins, which is what we did in our last lesson, which was before the Easter holiday. So let's see what they can remember. Are you confident, guys, that you yeah. can remember everything? No. Right. Sit down, please, everybody. Thank you. Uh, so 7K have just been learning about meanders, bends in the river. Um, and I'm just about, to, they've written down their homework. Uh, so they are going to be using Google Earth to find some uh, meander bends, some Oxway lakes and some waterfalls. And I'm just about to announce to them that they're going to do a Kahoot. Yeah. That's the pretty standard response whenever we uh, set a Kahoot. So they're going to get their devices out now and then they're going to have a go at that. They're laughing at me because I keep taking photos instead of recording videos. Um, so they are just all logging in. It's the quiet before the storm when it comes to a Kahoot. They are focused, they are poised, ready to start answering some questions. Uh, so we're going to get going. Ah, Charles at the top of the leaderboard. Fantastic. So they are identifying the landform. Shown here. Fingers crossed they all get this one right. Just waiting for a few more answers. Fantastic. That is everybody getting that one right. They all correctly identified that as a waterfall. We've got Priya up at the top of our leaderboard. Right, so um, Neve and Jessica have both very kindly offered to stay behind just to let us know a little bit about what they've been doing in geography this last year. So ladies, what sort of things you've been learning in year seven? We've been learning about how to read maps. We've been do we did like this project on what shapes our identity. We've been learning about weathering and erosion around school. We've been learning so like where continents are and where places are on the map. We've been learning about waterfalls and meanders and rivers. Yeah, and that pretty much takes us up to where we are at the moment. Um, ladies, how have you found starting at CHS this year? Good. I I thought at the start because I wouldn't because I was here from juniors, so I thought at the start like I would be in a class with like without my friends and I'd have to start making new ones. But then um, I was in class with my friends and I've made a lot more. I like I like it more than juniors. Um, I was scared at the start of year seven of getting lost. Um, but then there was teachers who reassured us um, and people and nice people around to help us if we did. Certainly getting lost is definitely one concern that students have because we have quite a big campus, quite yeah. quite a big site here. Um, and so, but as the girls have said, we're a very friendly bunch. 
Yeah. Um, and we certainly help everybody out. So uh, we'll often get students arriving over in geography who should be over in history and vice <laughs> yeah. versa. And for the first couple of weeks of term, we are forever walking people back over to the correct, to the correct departments. Thank you so much, ladies, and enjoy the Thank rest you. of your day. Thank you. So those are my morning lessons over and done with for today. Um, I'm on my way to go and meet with uh, Fiona, who is our cover supervisor, cover manager, um, because we've got a year eight trip, first year eight trip that we are running for two years, uh, going out in May. Uh, so we're going to go and sort out the staffing for that. We're taking half of year eight uh, one day, half of year eight the other. So. We need to take uh, quite a number of staff with us. Um, they will be walking from Mamnick Car Park up to Van Tor, if any of you know it, and then down into Castleton, where they're going to be conducting some field work whilst they're down there uh, as part of their tourism topic that they're studying at the moment. So um, I will walk down to go see Fiona now, and you can join us there. Been to see Fiona. I think we've got the staffing sorted now for the year eight geography field trip to Mamatour and Castleton on the two days in May. Uh, and now I am walking over to the print room. The sun has come out, um, showing off uh, the gorgeous grounds uh, around CHS. Uh, and I'm on my way to the print room to go and order uh, some new colouring pencils just to perpetuate the stereotype that all geographers do is colour in. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, I'll go and order those and uh, give you a little bit of review inside the print room. I'm back in my office. I've ordered those all essential colouring pencils um, and I am about to complete a trip approval form for our Year 10's fieldwork trip to Edale. Uh, which will be taking place after the half term holiday. Uh, they're going to go and undertake their river field work, uh, measuring different variables uh, of the river. Um, and it, do you know what? It's just brilliant to be able to be taking the students back out uh, and learning uh, out in the field again, uh, once again, as we were doing a couple of years ago. I've just met with one of my upper six students. She wanted to go through some of the course content um, of one of the courses that we did in lower six. Um, just make sure that she had everything that she needed for when she's doing her revision. Um, so I've got about 15 minutes before I pop down for lunch. So I'm going to run over to physics, see if I can catch Mr. Fletcher. It's just so we can have a quick chat about D of E uh, this weekend. Um, I have popped up for lunch uh, in the dining room and I have got my weekly lunch date with Miss Kirk. Hello, Hello. A chip day. Um, so it is chip day. <laughs> it's chip day and therefore it's exceedingly busy in here. <laughs> Uh, right, it is afternoon form time. I'm here with my form as well as part of Mr. Williams's form as well. Say hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, these two are very enthusiastic over here. Thank you very much, Johnny and Adam. Um, we are going to have a go at a Taskmaster challenge, so we'll get that set up um, and let, let you see what, uh, what the challenge is a little in a minute. The challenge is to blow up a balloon in 30 seconds. They've got to blow up the biggest balloon. The only issue is they are all blindfolded. So they've got no idea the size of each other's balloons. And we're just waiting for the first to pop. I... Uh, right, I am here with my lower sixth class and here they are. Matthew Wayne. No, it's a <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much. Ladies, uh, we are going to start the lesson with a quick global, which is um, uh, one of the little geography games that we sometimes play on a Friday. Um, and uh, you can join us later on in the lesson. Um, so we'll be back to check in with you. Right, success. Uh, the country, which we won't tell you in case you do your uh, global daily. Um, but we are now going to be going on to doing some field work. So in March, uh, we took our lower six geographers to Manchester, uh, where they undertook some field work. And we are currently in the midst of writing that piece of field work up. Uh, so we're going to be getting on with doing our methodologies 
today. And the plan is that they will undertake their own field work over the summer holidays. Um, so this was a pilot study to prepare them um, so that they'll have all the skills and all the tools that they need in order to undertake their own field work in the summer. Like Job number one for field work, uh, once they've, they've done their literature review already, uh, is they are locating the site of the study, which was Manchester. So we're on mapping software at the moment, Digimap, um, making sure that they've got the maps that aren't just from Google Maps. Uh, they're actually uh, finding and um, getting the maps that they need for the specific areas. So lower six have come down the corridor. They've got double geography on a Friday. What could be better? for Mr. Cordley's lesson. And although I'm not teaching uh, this lesson, we've still got a lot of geography taking place down the corridor. So we have got uh, Dr. Wright teaching year nine in there. And then down at the bottom of the corridor, we have Mr. Williams, uh, who is teaching his year seven. So if I keep walking down here, you can see that we've got his class is in here. In fact, there we go. Nice to see a class is waving to Instagram. I'm back in my office for the last teaching hour of the day. I'm just going to check my emails. I've got a few admin tasks that I need to do and ideally I'd like to get some uh, marking done as well. I've got D of E this weekend so I'm going out on Sunday to help with the year 10 bronze practice expedition. Um, we're heading out to the Peak District. I know they're heading out uh, tomorrow uh, and I'll be joining them on Sunday. Um, so yeah, checking emails. And I've just noticed that the Friday flyer has actually uh, dropped into our email boxes. Um, it says new term, new look. Uh, the Friday flyer has had a makeover. So I was just going to give you a little quick um, view of what the new Friday flyer looks like. Okay, so the Friday Flyer um, is now a Google site. And so you can view this whenever you want to. Uh, it is on the CHS parent site. Um, and then an email will come out uh, once every two weeks. It's just a little uh, reminder um, to go on. And it gives a, a sort of two weekly update uh, of what's going to be going on. We've got dates in the diary. Um, there's whole school events taking place as well. Um, one CHS, um, which is my favourite part of it, uh, where we get to um, have a look at and celebrate a number of the achievements of our wonderful pupils. Uh, there's sick form there, senior school, sport, uh, preschool, infant and junior school is there as well. Uh, and there's also some information on holiday camps. So that's always there for you to access um, on the parent site uh, whenever you want to. Uh, with an email coming out uh, once every two weeks with a little uh, reminder to go and have a look. Hello, we're here in the staff room. It's the house quiz competition. Uh, it's the staff quiz. Looks like we've got a really good turnout. I'm going to be playing for Whitehead. Uh, so fingers crossed we win. Uh, oh, Miss Purchase. Um, so we are, uh, yeah, lots and lots of snacks and nibbles and drinks here for everybody. Uh, so we've had a good turnout. The quiz has just finished, uh, very respectable third place for uh, the team that I was in, Physics et al. And a massive, massive thank you to our heads of house. We've got Mrs Vernon, we've got Mrs Patrick, we've got Mrs Metcalf, and we've also got Miss Lawson there as well. Absolutely fantastic quiz. Lovely way to end off this week back. So that's it. It is the end of the week. I'm heading off home. The sun has come out for the evening. Looks like it's here to stay. Fingers crossed it is here to stay for the weekend as well, uh, especially for our year 10 uh, bronze D of Ears. Um, I hope that they have a fantastic weekend of walking and camping um, and cooking on their stoves as well. And I hope that their navigation goes really, really well. Uh, thank you so much for um, joining me and sticking with me today as I give you a little bit of a glimpse into uh, my day here at CHS. I am handing over to Mr Groves, who will be taking over on Monday. Uh, he has an unbelievable energy, um, just what we all need on a Monday morning. Uh, so hope that you are able to follow him along on Monday as well.